We go NFC East. We'll do a little team by team here. Uh, we're going to start with you want to start with Dallas. You want to start with Philly. A lot of interesting things here. Pete Prisco, let's start in Dallas. It's a sexy team. They got a wide receiver. What'd you make of what Dallas did in the draft so far? Well, I, I think they sat there and they had no intention of taking the wide receiver, C.D. Lamb, uh, and but he fell to him. And I think that was too much value for him. They had to take him. Uh, they considered corner. They probably considered pass rusher, Kayla Von Chase on there as well. But when you look at it, uh, they get a big-time receiver. Now, my only concern with C.D. Lamb is he's a lot like Amari Cooper. I, I don't see the overall deep speed on that team right now, which is a little bit concerning. But what I did like is they came back and got Trevon Diggs the quarterback uh, in the next round they didn't think he would be there either so when you add it all up I think the Cowboys added a really big time playmaker on offense but also got a starting corner uh, in Diggs. I love almost every single one of their picks I think you can make a case that each one of these picks Lamb being the third wide receiver taken easily could have been the first Trayvon Diggs a first round talent I think when you break down the tape really especially aside from one game this past year versus LSU Neville Gallimore you ended up getting him in the third round same thing I think you could have made a case for him being early in the second round Reggie Robinson Tyler Biotis there the fourth round pick out of Wisconsin at center he might be a guy that, that could potentially start for them like he's that kind of player in my opinion at the center position in the run game pass protection struggled a little bit this year but still uh, I'm really high on him Bradley and I end up being one of the more productive edge rushers in, in, in Utah's history and in Pac-12 history he's a guy that I think can give you some good reps rotating in and passing situations but he's also stout against the run every single one of these guys to me is value they got them in a round later than what their draft grade probably was uh, at least for the Dallas Cowboys if not for some other teams so I love what the Dallas Cowboys have done so far in this year's draft I'm with you maybe there's something to locking everybody out and staying on your 250 million dollar mega yacht the problem is not everybody's got one of those sitting outside the dock uh, but I think Jerry Jones has done a fantastic job. You saw Mike McCarthy's face that first night when C.D. Lamb dropped in their laps. And he's thinking, are you kidding me? I'm going to get another weapon to add to this offense across from Amari Cooper. And then you look at the depth. I think all of these uh, players that they got, much to like Brady was just speaking to, really were players that you thought could have gone higher and then the the cowboys were able to get them to fall to them which is a great situation to be in um you know all the way top to bottom the last couple picks i'm with you on the center from wisconsin it's an offensive line factory you add to this offensive line another piece somebody is a center but can also probably play both guard spots and then Bradley and I is a player who I thought could have gone as high as the second or third round earlier dropped because he didn't test that great, but he's a producer. He's the son of a coach. He's a cerebral football player. I love this draft from the Cowboys. Brady, you touched on it. Those first three picks that they got, I have to go back and check my weekly mock drafts. I would guarantee you a large portion of those had all three of those guys going in round one. So if you told Cowboys fans they would get those three players, CeeDee Lamb, Trevon Dix, Neville Gallimore, and wouldn't have to do anything but sit pat, I, I would imagine they'd be extremely excited about that. I love Reggie Robinson, the, the cornerback out of Tulsa. He is extremely physical. He's a big, fast cornerback. He gets a little handsy and he'll have to learn to, to let go of the receiver after five yards. But he's the type of physical cornerback you need out out there opposite someone like Trevon Diggs. The only thing I'll say about Tyler Biotis, there were injury concerns, and I think that's why he fell. 2018, he came off a great campaign. People liked him a little more. Uh, he didn't quite show up in 2019 when you watched him play, but still, you get him here in the fourth round. Why not take a flyer on him, especially since Travis Frederick has retired? Do you want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game? The highlights, the picks, the instant analysis, no yelling, no fake debates, no politics. Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.